I'm going to remove this socket. It's always best to remove the screws, otherwise they get messy. And the tape I'm going to use here is a low tack masking tape. The reason for that is that it will stay on longer and easier to remove. Right, once that is done, dust off the area behind the socket and dust off the skirting beneath. Now, so not as to get any brush marks around the light socket, which I'm sure you've all seen before on ceilings and walls. We are going to brush the area the same as we would. But what we're now going to do, so that these brush marks are not more prominent than the roller marks, we're going to roll this area. Now, there is no difference between the larger roller you're going to use and the roller marks on the one I'm using now. And this is for anywhere where you are cutting in. Whether it's along the edge of a door frame lengthwise. And just finish it off with a roll at finish. After we've done this, I'm going to remove this tape. Although being a low tack tape, I would have left it on longer. I'm taking it off assuming that it's not a low tack tape because getting an ordinary tape off of there would be very difficult in maybe a day's time when you have to come back to the wall. If the skirting below the socket is not to be painted as not to get any overspray on the skirting again use a low tack masking tape best and one that works <laughs> this one has been left in my tool bag for a while but the fear is the same oh, I can't make this up with you stop action